Hey friends, welcome back to Bitfumes. I'm your host Sarthak and you can also call me Ankur. In this episode, we are going to learn about the update part of the CRUD operation. In the last few episodes, we have learned about the read and the create section of the CRUD operation. But in this episode, we are going to learn about the update part. So let's just dive into that part. For that, I will go to my to-do controller and you can see that in the to-do controller, there is a function called edit. Okay, so when we click on the edit button, this function will come into play. Okay, so let's just see quickly what we have done yet. We have already created add new section where we can add new item. We have created the read part. That means if we click on the title, it will give me the detail of that title. Okay, so what we want to do, we want a edit button here so that we can click on that button and we edit the item. Okay, so for that, I will go to my home.blade.php. Here, I will just copy this ul and delete this pan and create the edit button. And you can see here is edit, but I don't want the edit button to display here. I want to display it here. So just quickly change the columns. So here and here, uh, I will say call lg let's say 8 and here call lg4 and let's see the result and yep this is on the right side okay that's good next is that we want to click here and we have to go to the edit function i will take you to my command prompt and i will type php artisan route list here you can see that for the for going to edit function in the controller we have to go to this route okay so for creating this route just go to home page and here i will type just one thing that means edit okay let's go and check click refresh click on this edit button and you can see no error that means we are on the correct path and just go to to do controller in this edit function just return let's return id and click refresh and yes you got the id that means our function is working correctly okay now what we want we want to have a view so that we can edit something okay for that we have to create a view just create view by typing edit.blade.php a new file and you can just copy all these things to create view and for that you have to bind this view with the controller so return view view name is to do dot edit semicolon click refresh and yes we are on here but we don't want create written here i want here written edit so let's go to our edit here i can say edit and click refresh this is not the correct way of doing because we are repeating all these codes from the create.blade.php to edit. So for that, I will just delete all these things and make our code dry. That means don't repeat yourself. And I will just extends, extends what? Extends to do dot create and let's refresh. And yes, we are extending the create.blade.php. But again, how will I change the title? I will just go here and I will delete these things. And here I will echo route current route name and refresh and to do dot edit. But I don't want again the to do. So I will use the sub str function of PHP. So I will just wrap it in a braces and say sub str and here obviously we want to delete letters 0 1 2 3 and 4 that means we have to start from fifth letter so i will type comma and 5 and let's give it a refresh refresh and on the add new button it's a create item okay so we have successfully changed the template but i want title and body here to be updated so for that 
I will just say here yield and in the yield I will say edit title okay and similarly in the text area I will again say yield and edit body okay and go to edit dot blade dot php here you can say section and section name is edit title and title will be item title but we got but we obviously got an error because we does not have any item variable so let's just quickly pass that variable just use the model to do model and find with id and pass that with the compact method and I will say item and let's refresh and yes the title is here let's just quickly quickly do it for body also so body and here also body give it a refresh and yep this is here okay let's go to the command prompt and here you can see that to update something we have to go to this route and this route is same as the delete as the show but obviously the requests are different okay for update we have to make a method of put or patch so how will you do that because in the create.blade.php the form method is post we want to put so you just can do this but this is not the way you have to make a line and the line says method field and the field name which is put and let's see and go to the create and check for view page and you can see there a hidden input and value is put i don't want that to be in the create.blade.php i want in the edit.blade.php so i will say section edit method and here obviously show now here i will say section edit method and end section end section here paste this and let's just quickly check this click edit you can see here there is an input method name put okay so we have done the method part also the last thing is remaining which is the route so route will be to do slash the id so let's see the route here that means the action of the form here it is only to do because we want to save the data we want to store the data in the create section but as we have extended this we want to have here the id name like one two five etc so again we will do the yield part and i will say here edit id okay now here i will create a section and here i will say edit id and the id will be obviously item id and not d id okay now let's go to here click refresh go to view page source you can see the action is to do slash id name one okay so we have done the most of the part the next thing is that when we click on the submit to update this section so we will go to this function update function okay so with the update function you just can copy all these things from store function and just paste here but remember one thing you are not submitting the new item you are just updating items so instead of new to do you have to say to do find with the id and all these things obviously you have to make a validation and you can delete this unique to do's because the title is not unique because you are updating so it is already on the database so if you place this unique it will not be submitted so let's see that functioning or not so click submit and yep you got the error that means our validation is working fine okay now 
we have done everything correctly so we just have to check our system so here you will just say edited item so click submit and yep this is edited item so we have successfully done the edit part let's just edit this also this body edited new body click submit and this is the title so for the body we have to view this so this is edited new body and everything is fine so that means we have co successfully completed the update or edit part of the crud operation so if you like this episode please click on the like button and if you have any problem if you have any suggestion if you want to appreciate my work please feel free to comment me and if you have any problem in your project you want my help please comment me i will surely help you and you can follow me on twitter instagram and facebook you can post anything on these platform i will surely reply you and please share this video with your developer friends so that everyone get the knowledge of the best thing that means the level we will meet in the next episode till then bye